um, I would probably say I intend to pray the Magra prayer, the th uh, three fard, which means the obligatory parts, for the sake of Allah facing the Kaaba, or intending to face the Kaaba. Here I go, Allah Akbar, God is great. Then I recite the chapter of the Quran that is the opening chapter, and um, I'll tell you how it sounds and then translate. So it, it, it starts off and goes, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yom Al-Din, Iyaka Na'abudu, Iyaka Nasta'in, Adina Sirat Al-Mustaqeen, Sirat Al-Ladina Namta Alayhim, Ghair Al-Maqtubi Alayhim, Walad-Dalim, Ameen. This section means, praise be to God, Lord of the Universe, the Master of the Day of Judgment. You alone we ask for help. You alone we, uh, you alone we ask for help. Show us the straight way, the way of those whom you have favored and not of those who anger you or go astray. Then people recite any length of the Quran. You have to recite at least three verses. So you could recite a really long section or a shorter one. So just to give you an idea of what that would sound like, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Qulhu Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, Lam Yalid, Lam Yulad, Lam Yakulahu Kufuan Ahad. So this is one of the very small ones that most people learn. From here you go here, Subhanahu wa God, you are the most wisest. Sami Allahu Liman Hamida, God hears the prayers of those who uh, praise Him. Praise be to God. Allahu Akbar. Subhanahu wa This prostration is the most sacred position for a Muslim, and Muslims are not supposed to bow down to anyone except God. So in that particular position, you are to imagine yourself at the feet of God, and you're closest to God. You do that prostration two times, and that completes one circuit. So depending on the length of the prayer, you'd have three circuits, or four circuits, or two circuits. So at the very end, if when I was down here, I would have prostrated twice, come up here, and then at the very end, I finished my prayer going by going, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah, which means peace and blessings be upon you. And there are two interpretations. One, so Muslims believe that there are two angels. The right one records your good deeds, the left one records your bad deeds, and on the day of judgment, your book goes up to God, and depending on um, well, if your good deeds outweigh your bad deeds, then you go to heaven. If they don't, you go to hell. So, so the, one of the interpretations is that you're saying salams to those two angels. Another one is that if you're in a congregation prayer, you're also saying salams to the person next to you.